students in Buffalo will be learning from home for the foreseeable future, but there could soon be a plan to get them back into buildings. Galat Malaman reporting on the discussions to bring students safely back to school. Some Buffalo public school students could return to the classroom in November. I don't have a specific date. I, I suggested to you the end of the marking period. The plan Dr. Kreiner Cash laid out to the school board prioritizes the return of younger students, English language learners, and students with special needs. Once you pressure test how to actually do it with this first group, six or seven thousand kids, then every week, every, every couple of weeks, you could bring in another either developmental stage or group. Um, or another population. Cash says three major logistics are new schedules, transportation, and staffing. All depend on how many students would opt to return. Board member Kathy Evans Brown says some parents at Tuesday night's reopening meeting have changed their stance since the start of the school year. They agreed to the remote, 100% remote, but now they're frustrated because of the overwhelmness of, of uh, teaching of helping their child. Both the Buffalo Teachers Federation and the Buffalo Parent Teacher Organization support the prioritized return approach. The two groups are also calling for rapid COVID-19 testing. Last week, BTF President Philip Rumor outlined protocols the union wants to see, like MERV 11 to 13 filters in all ventilation systems and an agreed upon student teacher ratio. He says only staff who wish to participate in the reopening plan should be required to do so, but that he's, quote, confident there's more than enough who would participate. In Buffalo, Gilad Malamed, 7 Eyewitness News.